got those voltage regulators which are really cheap but kind of hot when using. I would like to use them for my portable Wii consoles but I would need to make a custom PCB for them. I removed the solder mask using sandpaper, this will help me map out the traces later. I took two photos, one for each side of the board. Next I've simply imported them to GIMP as layers. Using GIMP I've drew the traces on the separate layer above the photo. Whole process takes some time, but it makes things way easier later on. After a while I successfully mapped out all of the traces as well as solder pads and vias. I also took the time to more or less draw the components on the PCB drawing. This could help later on when there's any confusion about how things connect to each other. Now it's time to load that Autodesk Eagle and recreate the mapped traces. First I put all the components on the schematic. After that I've simply connected everything together same way as I mapped out images. Now it's time to create the PCB design from the Eagle schematic. I try to make it as close to original as possible. It's just a matter of dragging the components into the right spots and connecting them together with wires. After placing them correctly, I'm drawing the traces in the same way I've did them in GIMP. By default, Eagle shows what I need to connect with air wires, those are the thin yellow lines. And after a while, just like that, I've got the finished PCB design. Now it's ready to order at the China factories. I've cloned the existing design two times in order to have three exact custom regulators on one board. This way it will take way less space since there won't be any wire connections between them. I've removed all of the old polygons from the design since some of them overlap each other. I need to redo the polygons to fit the modified layout. I will also draw a new outline which will work better with regular replacement. You can make basically any shape you want, you can put holes for mounting as well. I put the voltage out pins for easier wiring later on. Finally, after adding new polygons, I now have finished PCB file. Now you can simply import the CAM file into Eagle and it basically does everything on its own. After that you will have a zip file with all the Gerber files required for fabrication. Now that you have the zip file you can import it in PCB ordering tab on the GLC PCB website. You can use any website you want but I use this one as it has really cheap shipping. So the fabricated boards finally arrived, it didn't take that long for some reason. Board quality is really good, which can be seen right away. There's easily visible strip where both boards are meant to be separated. I'll separate them quickly using my Dremel tool. It's a bit rough cut, but it doesn't really matter. Components are meant to be transferred from the regular boards which I've bought before. I've soldered everything to the new board. I've left some empty spaces since I'm soldering only one regulator at this time. I've had some issues with aligning the components since solder pads are meant for the hot oil soldering. Other than that it went relatively easy. And that's pretty much how I reverse engineer simple PCB boards. Sadly I won't need this one anymore since my project evolved in different directions. 